Hey guys, has one of these two things ever happened to you when flying a drone? You get to an absolutely beautiful location. You take the drone off, but apart from a few basic moves, you have a mind blank and don't know what cinematic moves to do to get good video. Or you capture literally hundreds of clips. But when you get home and watch them, they look boring, bad, or just don't showcase the location well enough. Well, in this video, I want to show you a drone video structure that will guarantee that no matter what the location or subject, you always come away with great clips that you can use to create epic sequences time and time again. And we will take a look at the exact joystick inputs you need to make on the controller for each drone move. And at the end, we will put them into the video structure and I will show you some examples of the sequences you can make. All right, let's get started and jump right in. The drone video structure consists of seven different types of clips you want to get with your drone that can then be put together to create an awesome sequence. The reveal, orbit, wide, transition, top down, rise up, and slider. And for each of these seven sections, there are multiple different variations of each of the drone moves you can do to keep your videos varied and interesting. And we will be looking at examples of each. And the best part is these drone moves can be done on pretty much any drone, from the Mini 3 Pro, Mini 2, Air 2S, Mavic 3, etc. And the examples we will be looking at are ones I have captured using a mixture of these drones over the years. So. Let's get started with the reveal. The reveal is a fantastic way to introduce your point of interest or location to a viewer and serves as a great introduction to a sequence. So that is why we are going to use it as the first clip we want to capture. Let's take a look at a few different types of reveals you can do with examples. In this first example, we start with the drone down behind this cliff edge. Then we start to fly forwards and upwards at the same time by pressing up on both joysticks to slowly fly over the cliff and reveal the beach behind. For this next example, we can already see our subject, the island, but we want to reveal it by pushing in closer. Instead of just flying along the water towards it, to add interest, we have put the drone just above this cliff edge. Then we want to start the move by flying forwards and downwards at the same time by pushing up on the right stick and down on the left. Try flying close to the edge as you pass over it for even more dynamic movement. This move is one of my absolute favorites to reveal a location. Here is another example of the push forward descend, again by pushing up on the right stick and down on the left, revealing this little hut in the distance. And again, using the same controller inputs and drone movement to skim across this hill to finally reveal this rock formation in the background, which actually looks like an elephant. Another option, if you can't start with a drone behind a foreground object, is the gimbal up reveal. We simply start with the drone's gimbal pointed towards the ground, then start to slowly fly the drone forward and ascend by pushing up on both sticks, and at the same time, raise the gimbal towards the horizon using the scroll wheel on the back of the controller for this epic reveal. The moves don't even need to be complicated for the reveal. In these next two examples, we only need to use one joystick input. When revealing this shipwreck, we can lower the drone close enough so that it's not entirely obvious what it is to begin with, and then raise the drone up by pressing up on the left stick to show the entire boat. Or to reveal a sunset, we can start with it obscured by this hill, and then slowly move left by pressing left on the right stick to bring the sun into focus. You could also do this to the right by pressing right on the right stick. If you time this right, you will also get the sun's glow breaking through as it's revealed, which looks awesome. As you can see, these are all fantastic openers to a sequence. And using the moves in these examples, you should be able to get an epic start to your drone video. Now, when it comes to putting together drone videos, one of the things that makes a massive difference to how professional they seem is sound effects and music. Just take a look at this before and after. Way more immersive, right? So how do we find professional sound effects and music to use in our drone videos? Well, this is where today's video sponsor, Epidemic Sound comes in, and a big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. I have been using Epidemic Sound as my go-to source, and they have over 35,000 tracks 
and 90,000 sound effects that you can choose from. Their music is also professionally produced and original with new tracks added every week. They also own 100% of all their music. This is super important because if you post your projects to social media, there's never a chance your videos would receive a copyright claim or tag down. Let's take a look at their fantastic library and how I used it for this clip. Firstly, to find a sound effect, I used the Epidemic Sound themes. Themes are carefully created groups of tracks and playlists that are sorted by use case. There are currently 27 themes with 160 playlists in a huge range of music styles and sound effect types. For this clip, I went into the water theme and I used the waterfall sound effect by simply downloading it and dragging it onto my timeline. For the music, Epidemic Sound has another great feature that recommends music based on your YouTube channel or other songs you have downloaded and I simply selected one of these. But you can search based on genre, mood and themes. It's really that simple to get professional results. If you want to give their platform a try, you can use the link in the description below to get a free one month trial. And the best part is any music and sound effects you use in a video during the trial will remain safe and protected even if you cancel your subscription after the trial is over. So you have nothing to lose and I recommend you give Epidemic Sound a try. Next up is arguably one of the best moves you can do with a drone, circling the drone around a subject, also known as the orbit. Let's first look at how you can do it manually and then we will look at a quick tracking hack to achieve it automatically along with a few variations you can try. With your subject centered, and you can make this easier by going into the drone settings and under the camera menu turning on grid lines. This will superimpose lines in the screen which you can use to make sure your subject is perfectly centered. Then we want to hit record and to start an orbit to the right, simply move the right stick right and the left stick left. If you want to do an orbit to the left by pushing the left stick right and the right stick left. Once you have the movement started, try to keep the subject in the center of the frame as you do the move and don't make any sudden movements on the joysticks. You can also let the drone do an orbit automatically, which might be good if you struggle with being smooth when doing it manually with the controller. First, with the subject centered on the screen, draw a box around it, select POI mode, and drag the arrow in the direction and speed you want to orbit. If you're using a drone that doesn't have tracking, such as the DJI Mini 2, you can still do this by selecting the circle quick shot mode and drawing a box around your point of interest. Then again, choose which direction you want to orbit in. And in this case, we want it to go left slowly and hit go. And that's it. Just let the drone work its magic for a perfect orbit. You can also create an awesome parallax effect when orbiting which is where the background and foreground move at different speeds. To do this, zoom into your subject using either the digital zoom, if you have something like a Mini 3 Pro, by pressing this button here, or you can use the telecamera on something like the Mavic 3. Then do the orbit motion again, keeping your subject centered. Sticking with the zoom, you can also zoom in while orbiting for another awesome version of this move that looks super complex and professional, but is really easy to do. To do this, again have the drone automatically orbit your subject using either POI mode or using the circle quick shot as shown earlier, but at the same time slowly zoom in using the scroll wheel on the back of the controller. The result is this awesome move that incorporates multiple motions and will impress your viewers. Another way to mix the orbit up is to use a gimbal down motion at the same time. It adds a third motion that makes your clip super creative and cinematic. Again, start with your subject centered horizontally, but this time you want your gimbal up towards the horizon or sky. Start an orbit to the right by pressing the left stick left and the right stick right, or an orbit to the left by pushing the left stick right and the right stick left. As you orbit, use the scroll wheel on the back of your controller to bring the gimbal down slowly. This might seem tricky, but the key is to hold your fingers in place once you get the motion started for a super smooth move. You could also try the Lazy Orbit, another one of my personal favorites that looks amazing. We want to start with our point of interest in the center of the frame, then start an orbit either to the left or right, but this time only move the left stick slightly to slowly let the subject drift off that center point. This subtle effect looks really fantastic and is one you have to try. One of the common mistakes we make when capturing drone video is thinking we need to do advanced drone moves all of the time to get good looking clips. The reality is that most of the time the best cinematic videos use simple, subtle motion and this is where the wide shot comes in. 
having a wider shot within your sequence is also great for showcasing your point of interest in its surroundings and helps to show the viewer where the subject is, its scale and the surrounding landscape. Starting with a static wide clip, we simply just want to fly our drone a good distance away from the subject to include its surroundings, then centre it in frame and hit record. Now, you might think clips like this would turn out boring, but the benefit of a drone is that we can record static video from perspectives not possible or hard to get with a traditional camera, such as high in the air or in this case over the water. These are still some of my favourite clips I have ever captured with a drone and it isn't even moving. If you want to add subtle motion, you can do a simple push forward by pushing the right stick forward. I recommend normal or cine mode for this to keep the motion slow and cinematic. We can also add foreground elements to the push forward to help show scale, such as in this clip where I had the drone fly past me and continue heading towards this island again by pushing forward on the right stick. Or you can put your drone down low to the ground and gimbal upwards slightly by using the scroll wheel on the back of the controller to be looking up at your point of interest for a unique perspective and an easy move that looks super cinematic. For the next step in the video structure, we want to spice things up with a transition. Using a transition is one of the ways you can take your drone videos to the next level and make them stand out. It's important though to not go overboard with the transitions, but having a really professional one within your sequence will elevate it and allows you to get really creative. So let's now look at how to do a few. Starting with the classic slide past, which is a great transition for taking your viewer from one clip to another seamlessly. Start by putting your drone in the air and find a large foreground object at your location. Then put your drone either to the right or left side of it, start recording and fly your drone sideways past that foreground object, either to the right by pushing the right stick right or to the left by pushing the right stick left. But stay close enough so that as you fly past it, your entire screen gets filled with a big blurry mess. We are going to use this to hide the cut for the transition. Then in a second location, find another large foreground object, start at the same side of it as in the first clip, hit record and start to fly in the same direction as before. But this time, continue past the foreground object to reveal your subject again. Then all you have to do is put both clips together and add a cut as both are passing the big blurry mess for this epic transition. The next transition, the throw up ascend, is a super creative move that looks great in a sequence or even as a standalone clip. For this transition, we need two pieces of video. For the first, you want to use a camera or even your phone to record yourself pretending to throw the drone straight up in the air. For the second clip, put the drone in the air just in front of where you were standing, point the gimbal straight down using a scroll wheel on the back of the controller, and then start recording and fly the drone straight up by pushing the left stick up. Then, all you have to do in your favourite video editor is add a cut as you pretend to throw the drone up and when the second drone clip starts. Adding a whoosh sound effect, which you can easily find on Epidemic Sound, also helps take this transition to another level. The underground transition is another super simple way to take your viewer from one clip to another. First, find a location that the drone can descend beneath, such as this cliff edge. Then, face your drone down towards the location or subject, Start recording and start to descend by pulling the left stick down until the entire screen gets filled with a big blurry mess again. Top tip, I recommend practicing this move a few times slowly while keeping an eye on the drone just to make sure you're comfortable doing the move and that the drone is clear of any obstacles as it descends. For the second clip, find another foreground object that the drone can descend past, such as this arch, to reveal the subject or another location. Start with the drone above the object and again descend by pulling the left stick down, remembering to keep the speed the same as the first clip so that they easily match up. Then in your video editor, again put the clips together and add a cut as they pass the big blurry mess to create this creative and cinematic transition. These are just a few of the transitions you can do, but hopefully they give you inspiration and show that you can go from one clip to another in a super creative way. One of the biggest benefits of a drone is that we can capture unique perspectives off a location that's either hard to get or even impossible with a camera. And there's no better example of that than the top down. This is a directly down facing angle that gives a bird's eye view off your subject or point of interest and looks awesome. The simplest way to do this is by putting your drone high in the air above your subject and pointing the gimbal straight down 
either using the scroll wheel on the back of the controller or by double tapping the function button if you have it set to recenter gimbal. Then all you have to do is hit record and wait a few seconds to have achieved an awesome little clip. We can also add motion to the top down by doing a rise up. Again with your drone's gimbal pointing straight down at your subject and the flight mode in cine or normal for a subtle motion, hit record and start to ascend the drone by pushing the left stick up. Another great way to spice up the top down, especially if you have elements moving in your frame such as these waves, is to make use of the slow motion mode by changing the video mode to slow motion. Then hit record and fly either to the right or left by pushing the right stick left or right to get this really awesome slow motion effect. Instead of flying left or right, you could also rotate the drone left or right by pushing the left stick right to rotate right or left to rotate left. And for this, I recommend cine mode as you want the movement to be nice and slow. We can also spice this up more by descending while rotating, which seems complex to do, but actually only requires one move on one joystick. Simply press the left stick down and right to rotate right, or down and left to rotate left and descend to achieve this deceptively simple but professional shot. Another option is the top down turn, which is a great move to showcase your subject in its surroundings. Start with the drone off to the side off the point of interest, start to fly left or right towards the subject by pushing the right stick left or right, and at the same time turn the drone to start an orbit motion by pushing the left stick in the opposite direction. Keep your joysticks in this position as your subject passes into view, and then as it moves back out of frame again. Try to keep the joystick steady once the move has started for a fantastic clip that you can use in your sequence. The penultimate move in the video structure is one that's super easy to do, but always looks great. The rise up allows you to showcase elements behind your subject as you ascend, giving depth to your scene. To start, simply put your drone down low, facing towards your subject and the gimbal at the horizon. Then hit record and start to ascend by pushing the left stick up. Keep ascending until the background comes into view, or in this case, the sun is shining over the hill. Normal or sport mode works great for this, as we want to convey motion and we don't want it to look as if the drone is not moving because it's rising too slowly. And here is a top tip. If you're using auto video mode, you want to make sure to tap on your subject and hold to lock exposure so that you don't get any big changes in exposure as you rise up over your subject. Again, we can make use of the drone zoom function to create a parallax as we rise up, which if you remember is where the foreground and background move at different speeds for this awesome effect. To achieve this, tap the digital zoom button, or if you have a Mavic 3, you can use the telecamera by again pressing this button. Then again, ascend by pushing the left stick up to achieve this beautiful style of video. The rise up twist is another variation that looks super tricky to do, but actually again only requires one joystick input. Start with the drone low to the ground, then start recording and press the left stick up to the left or right, which will cause the drone to ascend and start rotating in that direction. Remember to only move the joystick ever so slightly to achieve a subtle and epic drone move. To end our sequence, we want to do a slider or dolly motion, which have produced some of the best scenes in your favorite movies. And the best part is it's super simple to do. This is one of the moves that you should always keep in your back pocket as it works great almost anywhere. Let's firstly look at the simplest way to do this move. Firstly, align your drone at either side of your subject, hit record, and then start the slider by pushing the right stick right or left in the direction you want to go. And here is another top tip. You can also have a subject moving in your clip and have the drone slide next to them as they move to add more movement to your scene. Now, let's mix up the slider move by adding a descending motion. To start, you want to use the grid lines to make sure you are perfectly parallel to your subject. And if you haven't turned these on, remember you can do that by going to settings and under camera scroll down until you see the grid lines icons. Tap these to turn them on. Then start the slider by pushing the right stick either right or left and at the same time slowly descend by pulling the left stick down for this beautifully simple but also beautiful looking video. Then once you have recorded all the seven clips for the drone video structure, all you have to do is stack them together in your video editor to get an epic sequence. And the best part is because there are so many variations of the drone moves you can do for each section, I've literally covered a few in this video, your sequences will always look varied, unique and interesting. Let's take a look at two sequences put together using this video structure to see the results.
So there we have it. The only seven drone moves you will ever need. And hopefully these drone moves give you a video structure you can use to create awesome sequences when out flying, or at the very least, a structure you can fall back on if you get to a location and you have a complete mind blank and don't know what moves you should do with your drone. Now, if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button. And if you love all things drones and want to know how to get better videos and more cinematic photos with your drone, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. Make sure the subscribe button is checked with the notification bell, and that means you won't miss any of them upcoming videos. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.